paramedics saved his life. Today, officers swarmed UNM Hospital in support of one of their undercover detectives who was shot in the line of duty yesterday morning by a fellow undercover cop. As you can imagine, he's devastated. News 13 has learned Lieutenant Greg Brackle is the one who shot that undercover officer. As to why he pulled the trigger, police won't say. According to the criminal complaint, it all happened during an undercover drug bust. They were out there working this case as a result of the community outcry of the narcotics activity that was occurring in this area. Police say two undercover detectives, who News 13 is not naming, were in this black car, one in the front seat, the other in the back. They had just bought $60 worth of meth from two suspects, Damian Bailey and Edmund Vester, when the officer in the driver's seat signaled for another detective to move in. We have learned shortly after, Lieutenant Brackle opened fire at the car, critically wounding the detective in the back seat. But remember that these officers are out there putting their lives in the line trying to protect our community. It's unclear if either of the suspects had a weapon. In fact, the criminal complaint doesn't mention the shooting at all. It simply says, quote, both individuals were taken into custody. We asked Chief Gordon Eden today why the details were left out. And the information is still very limited as our investigators from our multi-jurisdictional shooting task force continues to do the interviews. Now, because this was an undercover operation, neither of the officers were wearing protective vests or lapel cameras. The other officer who is who was in the car during the shooting was hurt, but is OK. Back to you. All right, thanks, Emily. Vester and Bailey are both charged with trafficking drugs. They're each booked on a $30,000 bond. As we learn more on the condition of the officer shot and uncover new information on what happened, we'll be keeping you updated on air. You can also read the criminal complaint and watch the full briefing APD gave us this afternoon online at KRQE.com. Meanwhile, the officer shot a week ago by a DWI suspect is still recovering. APD says Lou Golson has been moved to UNM Sandoval Regional Medical Center, where he underwent a third surgery. Police say Golson was shot three times during a traffic stop early Saturday morning, last Saturday morning that is, by career criminal Christopher Cook.